Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Been a while since I've done a video, but uh, today I wanted to show a new piece of software that was just released today. This is a valuation copy. It's the new SDR Connect software. Uh, for those of you who use SDR Play devices, you've probably heard that SDR Connect is going to replace SDR Uno. Well, it's not going to replace it, but it's going to run alongside of it. So if you install SDR Connect, it does not affect your SDR Uno at all. You can still use either one you want as a separate program. But they released a, a evaluation copy today, and we're going to take a look at it. I just installed it about 15 minutes ago, so I don't know all the all the bells and whistles yet I've got to read up on it I just wanted to show you what it looks like I have it down here so let's launch it and here's the main screen of when you launch it so let's uh, start it you start it right up here in the top I've got WWV on let's just turn this down a little bit and uh, this, as I said, this is the main screen. Here's your waterfall. And you can adjust this up and down however you want it. Um, you can add a VRX, which adds another waterfall and scale. Here's your, some of your device settings. You can set your sample rate, antenna, C, B, and A, I, F, A, G, C and change your settings there system gain if gain rf gain bias t all that stuff is there here's your display settings you can set your fft size the window the rate the level the base and that changes the base up and down your spectrum average, waterfall, all that stuff. Here you can zoom in and out. Zoom that way, back to normal. Here's your volume. Enable auxiliary display. Here's the toggle between the spectrum waterfall. You can turn the waterfall off. You can just have the waterfall. You can have both. You can take the sidebar off. As you can see in the middle here, if you take it off, you don't see it. And then... There we go. And here we have control panel for your mode, your filter presets, your tuning steps, tuning step size, snap size. And underneath that is your squelch, AGC settings, profile, all that, your audio settings, your devices, your filters, bands, you have preset bands, you have ham bands low, ham bands high, broadcast bands, other bands which marine, NOAA, all that stuff, that's pretty cool. Broadcast bands, it would be nice. If they um, put the 16 meter band in there and all these other bands instead of skipping over some of them but uh, maybe that'll come in another feature but you have as you can see here 75 meters 60 49 41 31 25 22 and 19 and of course FM there there's no 16 meter band I guess you could do that manually or you could add it I don't know like I said I'm just starting to play around with this so and your options are power display, both S meter only, measurement only, none. Display status, swap digits, which just makes your frequency jump over here and your uh, signal meter jump over here. Waterfall, you can just, uh, you know, change the, how it looks, you know, things like that. So let, let me uh, mute this so that's irritating. 
and over here you have your auxiliary spectrum you have your display for it separately you know your reference level and stuff what, what makes it hard to set though is your your menu is on top of it so you can't really see what you're doing so that's that's kind of a weird thing but again this is just an evaluation preview copy i'm sure things there will be many updates to come as it gets fine-tuned and down here's your recording um audio sp that auxiliary sp that changes that your recording settings right here is the primary sp pre-roll time is two seconds use the squelch i don't know where it sends the file at maybe when it's done you have a chance to um you know save it to where you want to save it i don't know i haven't like i said i haven't tried it yet i'm just trying to show you around what this looks like down here you got recording diversity and i don't know if so far i haven't found how to move it anything around because i don't know if they have they have video user guides I, i'm going to try to put all of that in the link below the video but i don't know if they have a user guide yet i haven't found you know how you can i guess you just have to uh put your mouse point over and change it i don't know if there's direct frequency entry yet as i get like i said many you know there this is an evaluation copy it might be there later but your you know your point and click is the same so let me up get your point and click is the same And all that's the same, but like I said, I can't. I don't know if there's a direct frequency yet or not. I will. I'm going to play around with it some today and see. But yeah, this is the evaluation copy of the new SDR Uno. And like I said, uh, if you install this, it installed fast. It's only about a 47 megabyte up download. I'm running Windows 11 Pro. I've had no issues. It didn't cause any crashing. Uh, it's as I said, it installed fast, and uh, it does not interfere with regular SDR Uno. This installs as a separate SDR program. So if you try this, and you you know you can still have it on your computer, it's not that big. It doesn't run in the background. Doesn't take up a lot of resources. If you like it, you know you you've got a choice. You can use SDR Uno or you can use this. This does not overwrite SDR Uno, where you have to uninstall it and reinstall SDR Uno if that's what you want. You don't have to do that. They're both they're two separate programs on your hard drive. And you have the choice of which one you want to run. And I, I do like that because if I find out I like SDR Uno much better, because on this I haven't figured out yet how to do uh, the notch filters or anything like that, where SDR Uno, all that to me is pretty easy. But um, yeah, it's give it a try. I'll put the link in the description below. It does not support the original RSP1 I don't think it does it does the 1A the DX the RSP2 Pro the Duo and and stuff like that it just does not support the original RSP1 and as of right now it will only run on a 64 bit system they do have download links for Mac and everything there is just you know pick if you're using windows or mac it's all in the description there at the very bottom is the download links and you'll see them but as you can see up here like i said this is sdr connect the preview build b11b 5b cc7 and that was released today august 10th 2023 so i'm going to play around with this a little bit longer and maybe do some more videos on it but um, yeah if you're using an sdr play product the 1a or later and you want to give it a shot it is now available on the uh 
on the SDR Plays website. Evaluation model, I'm, <laughs> I'm sure, like I said, there's going to be many updates coming in the future as they refine things and change things and get things going and want to tweak something. But as of right now, it is it is available to use and kind of get the feel for it. So if you want to download it, just click on the link below and uh, give it a shot. And leave in the comments what you think about it, whether you like it, whether you don't like it, what you like, what you don't like. And I, I have to say I have to reserve, you know, judgment right now. But from what I've seen so far, if I had to pick one, I would stay with SDR Uno. That's my thing. Now, I may grow to like this software. I don't know. But, you know, can't tell. Only time will tell that. But anyway, give it a try. And uh, thanks for watching this video. And I will see you next time. Take care.